just want to check. The weird thing about YouTube live streams is that it um, kind of makes you go live before you go live, which is weird. So I'll click go live and then it's, it goes a bit weird. But I think, I think we're up. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let me, let me make this pop out. All right. Hello, Ryan. How you doing? How are you doing? I know I've been sleeping a little bit on the channel, haven't I? Yikes. <laughs> Hello, hello. <laughs> I never closed porn so fast. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Ricardo. Hello. Uh, everything's good. Everything's good. I'll be honest with you, man. I've just been distracting myself with other things in life recently, and it's um, yeah, it's just really been distracting me from this, which is is completely wrong. I shouldn't be at all. Um, I have been though on the sidelines. I have been working on some unified mind stuff, um, some decks here and there that I thought would be really fun. In fact, I want to play one of them. That I'm working on today. Um, I kind of just explore the. There's this one card I actually really want to try out. Bear with me. Let's 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 jump into it. So this is a card that I don't know. I think it's gone under the radar again. It's one of those just it, it can be good, but it's just not great type decks. Um, I was about to say the fat snap. Oh hi Ryan. I was about to say the fat snap, <laughs> and then you got a notification. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. My bad. Is this one here. Tag impact. This is attack that's 50 damage to each of your tag team Pokemon in play. Like if we pay, play things like Mew Mew and stuff, that would be a cool a cool thing to do. So I'm going to trade for some of them. Hi, Julian. Hello, hello. Dead mean I trade for eels. Eels? What, am I, what do you mean by eels? Um, let me search this Kangaskhan quickly. See, I doubt it's going to be... Someone's going to be trading this thing, but we'll at least try and search. If not, we can do Mew Mew. Thank you, Ryan, man. Thank you. It's glad, it's glad to be... Glad to be live. Glad to be live. Glad to be here. Come on, Kangaskhan. Don't mess around here. It's loading. All right. But I hope you're all okay. I hope you've been doing well this week. Um, yeah, I hope you've all been doing good. I've just been sleeping on this so badly. <laughs> I've been sleeping on a lot of stuff, actually, uh, when it comes to what I do. What are we in the new theme decks? Hang on. Let, let, let's, let's see if I can get this trade to load. It is going to... It's going to load. Um, it's kind of lagging a bit. But I don't know. What are the new theme decks? I might check them out after this, though. I want to see if I can get this Kang... Am I spelling Kangaskhan right? I hope I am. Okay, there we go. They're loading up. Um, now, I want to do... I'm getting... Man, this is going slow. What is this? I'm getting... Click on it. Click on it. Come on. Come on, buddy boy. Oh my god, it's like turning on and off there. Um, Electros. Oh, I've heard of that. I've heard of that. Would not return a match. Oh, stop playing around. I know that's a lie. Dragonite and the Cosmo, the new themes. Oh. Oh, really? Now, play Chiave, Snow Likes, and Eevee. I might do that later on in the stream. I don't know if I want to do a post rotation build right now because i've been practicing that recently um considering it's happening what in about a week or so over just over a week today's the seventh right gonna be the eighth tomorrow yeah about a week or so away is the is the rotation so i want to keep practicing some rotation decks which would be kind of cool but this this kangaskhan thing's taking too long so but i have to leave that out let me look at these theme decks. Oh, that Necrozma, that, um... Why is this, why is this lagging so much? I don't get it. All right. Anyway, let's, let's check this, this, these, these theme decks quickly. I want to see what they are. Have I acquired from the new set? Um, oh, okay. Um, from the new set, I'll show you. Um, I've, I've opened quite a few packs. Oh, thank you, Ryan. I'll definitely let you know. I'll let you know, man. Cheers. Um... Let me show you quickly what I've got. So I think, yeah, these are all... I've been using this Celebi in a deck, which is kind of fun. Um, I've been really trying to work with... Let me show you the GXs that I got from it. Uh, yeah. So I've actually got quite a decent amount so far already, actually. So I've got Keldeo, which is hella fun. <laughs> Made a deck on that. I've got uh, Double Raichu. I've got Mew Mew. Uh, Espeon Deoxys, Latios. I've got a Jirachi. 
Aerodactyl, a Weavile. I've got four Giratina and Garchomps. So I have made one of, the, one of those decks and that's dope. Ah, I want to show you the Beast Box. I like Beast Box. It's really fun. Let's do some Beast Box. Um, uh, hi, Ian. How are you? Yeah, I've, I've noticed that, man, with the trades. It's a bit of a pain. I know they... Um, didn't they take it down for a bit before? They did a trade maintenance thing, right? Right, where's this Beast Box that I was going to... It's this one, right? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I want to do the Beast Box. Beast Box is really fun now. It's really fun. And this is a post-rotation list. The only thing about playing post-rotation on PTCGO is a lot of people aren't. So you can't really test post-rotation very well. But, I mean, this deck's uh, Beast Box is good because it's got a lot of search. Like, you've got Mysterious Treasure, and then you've got um, Ultra Space as well, which is great. And, of course, you can use things like Pokecom. But I've been really testing out the um, Emolga Pokecom thing. It's, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. But it does take a lot of deck space, which is a pain. <laughs> okay, do okay. Uh, I kind of want to start this. I don't want to get this buzzword down just yet. Now, I need to get rid of these, actually. I've been using things like Rainbow Energy and stuff and to make sure I can utilize the buzzword and things. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a game. I'll definitely give you a game. Let's get this one done, and then I'll definitely give you a post-rotation game. I'd love to just... Kind of just test out with the presentation. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's let's do let's do a game. I want to do this beast bots deck. Do I have you, Ryan? I don't know. I think so, right? I don't know if your name is the same on PTCGO as it is on uh, YouTube. So I'm not sure if I do have you, man. I'm not sure. If I do, just let me know your name. But yeah. No problem, no problem. What? Drinking from the bottle. I'm a rebel. All right, while we do that, then I am going to just get into a game. Just so I can get some gameplay in. And then uh, we'll go after. Um, also, Ryan, I know you are mod now. So let me just give you that. There we go. There we are, there we are. Right. Can we add you to friends? Yes, Jared, you can. You can. Just uh, add me. It's FTWTVHD. That's the one. Right. I've been messing about with what types of Ultra Beast Fitness deck because of uh, the new... Um, hmm. Do I really want to play this yet? I don't. I'm going to do this. Um... Got you, got you, buddy, got you. Um, right, what was I saying? Yeah, I've been really um, kind of contemplating what types of Ultra Beast Fitness deck, and it works. You can kind of mess about a bit with Beast Box now because the Naganado is all about uh, trading away, trading away Ultra Beast to give you draw. So I kind of threw in some of these Naganados as like alternative attackers or cards I can just trade away and I can reuse with Lure Ball. Because um, they're evolution ultra beasts that you can kind of bring them back into your hand and then trade them away again. Trade, I say. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff you can mess around with here, which is really cool. Right. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Let's get... I don't want to I, I don't get rid of this. This is like Boswell, but for free prize rather than four. So if they try and dodge the Boswell turn, we good. Stack attack 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 attack. I got a Rowlet and Egg deck post rotation. I can play game two. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. So Ryan and Glace. Let me just get this up quickly. Um, okay, so I'm just getting it in order, so I know who's who's playing when and next. Uh, right, let's get another Poi Pol out. I'd say, and then probably just drop this Lily and go from there. Now I do play Ditto, which is kind of counterproductive. I'd say some would say, I guess, but. It's just to fully utilize our uh, Naganados a bit. A bit better, at least. Or do I? I don't know, because you can only play two of the Naganados each. You can't play three of one, two of another, right? So it's a bit less consistent, I'm afraid. Uh, oh. Is this just... This is a dark box, isn't it? With the Weavile. Also, wouldn't it be a good idea for... Wait, is the Evil Admonition Weavile rotating? I don't think it is, right? 
That'd be a good tech in uh, Dark Box. I think that'd be really good tech. So they come up against some crazy ability deck. You're just like, whack! Just take some things out really nicely. Be a really good shout. I've been practicing my shuffling. Um, with my deck of cards. This isn't even Pokemon cards. It's just normal cards. But for when I do play in real life, which I'm planning to do soon, actually. I'm just bang. Practice my shuffle. Okay. Wait, why am I not playing Cherish Ball in here? Am I stupid? I'm not playing Cherish Ball. <laughs> oh, I'm a dum dum. All right, let's get this Naganadal out. No, let's get this one out. Yeah, there is a Hoopa. But I think it does less, right? Um, let me trade that away. Push comes to shove, we can't just do our GX attack, right? And just uh, <laughs> throw in another. Ah, there are a few changes I need to do to this deck, you know? There are a few changes, I completely forgot. So, the first change I want to do to this deck is... Um, less injection, GX. Is add... Let's throw... What, what, what's kind of useless? I guess this would be something. Scoop up, yeah. It's a tech for Giratina decks, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that completely. Because it's going to be super easy to one-shot Giratina. But, um... What was I saying? I was saying something I completely forgot what I was saying. Yeah, that's it. I want to add triple colorless energy into this. So at least I can go for a Venom shot if I want to. Or I can go for a single turn energy attachments Stinger GX as well. So I think adding in this deck, adding two triple colorless energies would be pretty, pretty sound. In my opinion. Oopa! Oopa! I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah, this one, yeah. 60 damage to one of your opponents. What's this GX attack? Can't play any training cards from the hand during the next turn if at least five extra energy cards attached to it. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now knocked out. Do they take a prize from that? I think so, right? Because it's not discarding the card, it's KOing it, which is a completely different outcome, right? What are you building, Sean? Beast Box! Beast box. And hello, welcome to the stream. I'm building a beast box. The uh the one with the new Naganado. But this guy's got a slow start, so it's kind of working out for us because we've got a bit of a slow start as well. That's the tough thing of using ultra space, is like your main search. Is uh you don't get a lot <laughs> per turn. Hello! Hello Hadi, how you doing? I hope you're well. I hope you're well. Thought it was about time I get a little stream out. Um, so I will be getting some videos out soon, definitely. I think I might be. I don't know. If, I should be start. I should be working on to one, uh, on one tomorrow. I do have plans tomorrow uh, with my son taking him out. But when I get back, it should be good. Am I going to Worlds? I wish. Um, that new Naki GX is good. Yeah. Um, very good. Very good. So. Gmap. Hello. Yes, and it goes through effects. What's that? Was I talking about something I completely forgot? Oh, I don't. Isn't, um, isn't that supposed to... Bear with me here. I think it's better, actually, that I get one of these and just kind of trade them away. Or ultra conversion them away. That's, it doesn't sound as good. Um, yeah, I swear it's supposed to bypass the evolution turn or something. Right? Am I wrong? Because I know with, with the, the uh, Eggman, if you have... A bench, no, what am I talking about? Yeah, if you have a bench Pokemon and you bench them that turn, you should be able to evolve it on the same turn, right? Is that correct? Because there's no, there's no, there's no limitation set in that at all. Um, right, let's get, let's just actually get an attacker out. We gotta hit something soon, right? Um, do I load on? Do I? Don't I don't need that. That's just for trading purposes. <laughs> Let's retreat you. Um, we're going to hit it for low damage here, but hey, we can, so we will. Let's just get a stack attacker down. And then we're just going to get stack attackers out now, I'd say, for the time being. Um, just if you go second. Oh, okay. Is that a bug or not? I'm not sure. Because I don't know if it's meant to just be placed down. Because I swear it's, it's attack is just a forest of giant plants pretty much, right? You can just evolve it right away into whatever it is. So people are playing it with Leafany, right? Leafany, am I saying that right? I don't even know. 
I haven't even seen... It's definitely Darkbox. I haven't even seen a... Uh, Greninja Zora, but it doesn't seem that's why people play Darkbox. To be honest with you. Discard top 15 cards. That that GX attack is crazy, though. If it has 5 extra energy. If you have 10 energy on one Pokemon, that's like... Decks play about 10 energy. Sometimes less. So you want to commit your whole deck to the GX attack. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Unless it's like game winning. Your opponent's got 10 cards left or something. Then... Obviously. Thank you, Scott, <laughs> for the subscription. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, doesn't that mess up my beast ring turn? I didn't think about that. I guess so. But I've, I've, I've done something wrong in this deck, if I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I need beast ring in here. I really don't think I need it. Or do I just wait until they knock out two GXs? I guess you could wait until they knock out two GXs. I just did it because I had nothing else to do. <laughs> Not a great strat, really, is it, Sean? No. Okay, they failed that. That's good. Uh, so they're probably going to go for the Abyssal Sleep here. Which is such a pain. <sighs> Why? Um, yeah. Now, the issue... The, the most annoying thing about this is you don't... We don't have post rotation. We don't have Rescue Stretcher. Rescue Stretcher would be dope because you could just guarantee using this ability almost every turn and just getting a fat hand, you know? Um, spell tag. Let's get another Poipo down, I would say. Moving slowly, but moving at least. So, let's get rid of you. Dark, spot, dark box is the best box. One would say yes. Um, do I attach to you? I think I do. Why did they not go for their um, abyssal sleep attack? I have no idea. No idea. I think it would have been great for dark box. You just pulled a secret of Viridian. Dope! That's dope, man. Good stuff. Good stuff, buddy. Um, I think what this deck is missing a lot, post rotation, is max potion, Acerola. Because anything that can move energy around loves that kind of stuff. You can just heal, be untouched almost. Dark City, there we go. That's fine. Now, I think the one card that will probably just destroy Mew Mew is Power Plant. <laughs> if you just have a deck with four Power Plant... <clears throat> It's like an anti an anti tag team deck or an anti GX deck or something, right? Just just drop in your you have to contemplate now between using shrine and power plant. But I'd say power plant is better post rotation because of how much abilities are being relied on. Like Dark Box relies on the uh Weavile, and then Mew Mew of course relies on the Mew, the the Mew Mew. <laughs> and then of course um you have Picaron, which relies on like things like uh, the Dene GX and um Zebra Aura. I'd say the one card that could bypass it a bit is Reshirad. So, there's that. Why can't I hear anything? Is my... Okay. I thought my headphones would go in there. Luckily, we got Super Scoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. All right. Uh, I guess we could... If we hopefully hit the turn we want. Um, we can do that. Now, this is why I wanted Law Ball. Because I can... If I hit heads, which I do... Okie dokie, I only have one. <laughs> um, I can trade it now without having to get rid of something that I actually want, might want to use. So that can now just be traded away. And we got another stack attack. Wow, right, this is a pretty decent... Decent hand. Um, let's get rid of the Lily. And go for another Naganado. Gonna need to... I don't know what my energy deal is right now. But I'm gonna retreat this. Heat it with a great potion. I guess I could put super scoop. Oh! You're active! Well. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Okay. That's okay. We're alright. We good. We good. We good. We good. Except this guy can just GX attack us for like a crazy amount. Which is just not fun. Or we could beast energy. That could really help. Uh, is that really going to make the numbers come together? We're only going to be hitting one wait, 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 100 here, right? 130 to 260. Mm, even then, we're like slacking. All right, we're going to go for it anyway. 
I, I might get rid of Beast Ball as well now that I think about it. Let's get another one of you out. Yeah, after this, I don't get Sledgehammer, no. No, I don't. Every YouTuber misses the active part. Because I'm used to Max Potion, right? Where you can just heal whatever, whatever Pokemon you want. But I'm a stupid. <laughs> I'm a dumb dumb. Oh, how many Ultra Space do we play? Because I do not want that. Three. Uh, I don't know if that's all of our Ultra Space. I do not want that black market sitting there. Otherwise, it's just it's a yikes. It's a big yikes. Uh, me not a fan of that one. No way. But I think right now, my favorite deck that I'm playing, post-rotation-wise, is Giratina Garchomp. It's so just crazy strong. It's stupid. Like, it's mad. All right, so they're going to go for the old Retreat and Schmackaroni. Which, again, how many energy do they need? Five extra. So they have six. They can go for... Can't play any training cards, and... This is KO'd. Oh, that feels bad. Oh, I'm actually going to go for the scoop up as well. Woo, okay. Thank God for that. Thank the Lord. So that's why they did it. Okay, that makes sense. Uh. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jared, that's a good shout. They do take an extra prize, don't they? So they're going to take three prizes off this if they KO it. Which they have to hit a big number. They have to hit 250, right? No. Yeah, 250. Wait, 30 extra does 240. No, they have to hit 260, which they can't do, so. I like how in Beastport you can use Buzzwall on four prize turns. Actually, um, Zerkshi when it gets KO'd and the Illegal when it... Yeah, yeah. It's great. They they literally just take out one of your Naganadels. You just promote the Boswell. They take out your Boswell. You promote the Zerkatry. You take out your Zerkatry and then you promote the nearly go. <laughs> um, and then you can just use one of their attacks. <laughs> like, it's great follow-ups. Great follow-ups. But it's very hard to, to, to keep that going as well as you like. So they GX and got nothing out of it, which is great. But I might actually... <clears throat> have to get this Naganado KO'd just to be able to use a fresh attacker that isn't really low HP. Um, let's discard the Poi Pole. I don't know if that was the right move now that I think about it. Whoops. Um, yes, I'm playing double Buzzwall. Uh, it's because I can trade them away. Um... I could attack with Stack Attacker, but that's nothing good. I think we just prep for the Buzzwall, lads. I think we just prep for the Buzzwall. And then just go in here with the Beast Raid. Again, for 130. This is a tough matchup, man. This is a really tough matchup. Like, damn, dude. I thought they had, I thought they'd go for another scoop up there for a second. Oh, that's a cool little card to throw in the deck. Nanu. That makes that's cool. I like that. Hello Edward. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Right. We need to like have some sort of game plan here. We're only taking two prizes from this thing as well. Which isn't good. And I'm also sitting there thinking, is Lily good in this deck because of our ability to fill our hand out like so quickly? Lily doesn't even seem like a decent card. Now that I think about it, what would be pretty good is a uh, fan club just to get early start up like really quickly. That seems like a good idea, actually, because we've got a lot of basic Pokemon in here. You could do that. And Cherish Ball. There's a lot of work to put in here. Can you get Gaming Henry? You can. But uh, there are some people waiting. So you have you have been added to a queue. Your third place in the queue. Beast Box shenanigans need a lot of work on it though. Definitely need a lot of work on it. It's very... Uh, new, I guess. Incorporating this Naganado. Or Naganadao, however you want to pronounce it. 
Oh no, they're going for the No! Don't tell me you're gonna get this get this KO'd, right? You Oh that's bad! Okay, um at least we get the return KO, right? Thanks to our spell tag. Uh two more damage counters. That could be relevant. The top hat mustache boys. Oh yeah. Okay, they bypassed the buzzwall as well. Did they just go to one prize? Like, in one turn. Wow, what a crazy turn. Uh, Frank, you, you love them. I actually kind of like the, um, the new Weezings, man. They actually look really cool. Those people are like, it looks awful. I'm like, it looks dope. <laughs> what are you talking about? It looks fun. It looks stupid, and I love it. Oh, and it's like so, so British. Oh, wait, I thought they went down to three prizes, no? Okay. Right, we have some options. Okay, let's beast ball. We could get a stack attacker, sure. There's that beast bringer. Um, could throw another stack attacker down. Uh, let's go for the mysterious treasure. And... Man, I really want that ditto, you know. That ditto could really do some good. Because if we can place a ditto and then law ball, we can get another Naganado back to attack with. So. Oh, man, we've got the law ball. We don't have the ditto. Um, <clears throat> I think this is a really good turn to go for the Lusamine. It's like so pretty. <laughs> it is. Though. <laughs> it is like. So oh, hi, Mewtwo. Hello, hello. You're my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> um, law ball now. No, maybe? Question mark? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to play this loose to me so they can't damage us this turn. And then we just go for Sledgehammer for like cheap damage, but weak damage, which is good. Um, and then they're going to have to scoop up or retreat or something and hope that we don't get the KO because we get the KO on this. We don't have to win. Hold up. Wow, so one thing I didn't realize is Spell Tag bypasses Black Market Prism. For how long they've both been out? How can I not figure that one out? <laughs> because uh, I, I took three prizes from KOing that um, Sable Tran... I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Drinking out the bottle like a rebel. But if we get Swing Around going, we are good. Oh wait, I can't Guzma. <laughs> it's not in the post rotation. Yikes. See you later, Edward, man. Thanks for coming along. But yeah, but yeah. Anyway, on, on the Weezings. I think the Weezings look funny. I think they look good. Like, it's top pat. It's proper, like, old school British. What you think of British people. Like, oh, you have the tea. And then you have the, the top hat and all that jazz. I think it's hilarious. I actually think it's hilarious. I just can't wait to see the other ones. And they gave, um, is it Linoon? Sab Sablitar. Sablitar. Sabletar. They gave, uh, is it Linoon? Oh, they picked it up, damn. Yeah, Linen, right? They gave that an evolution. Dope! Make Mega Sable Tower, yeah. Something, something like that. Someone's calling it something. We don't get the KO on this, though, unless we get double heads on the, on the swing around this turn. Which is possible. Right. So. We are in dire need of stuff. However, we, our deck is very thin, so... Oh, just keep them coming. Bang, bang, bang. Get you out. And now we can trade them away. Okay, I'm digging. I'm digging. Custom Catcher is the new Gusta. You are correct. Oh, we have Beast Ring. Do I have energy in deck? Please. No! I just need the energy. Oh! Damn. We could have swing around and hopefully got a KO this turn. Right, that's game though, right? We have no energy to attack with and get any sort of good attack off. I'm cutting this. This is game. This is is game. Uh, Seth Falls, what is your name? What is your name? I'm going to have to quit this one, I'm afraid. Man, that was a weird game, though. Right, Ryan, are you about? Because we need to have a game. I don't know. Did you tell me your name earlier? Uh, let me see. Native, intelli Native intellect. Oh, see ya. I'll see ya. 
Friend request. Let me know your names, by the way, when you request me, so I know who is who. But Glace, that's you, obviously. And true psychicking. Psych psych chicken. Psych say something. <laughs> right. Uh, let's play Ryan. And let's go and use Where is it? What did I call it? I forgot what I called it. I called it something stupid. I know that for sure. But I know my deck name's stupid. Uh, and I'm a few of it. Okay. Uh, bap, bap, bap. Where is it? It's somewhere over here. It's somewhere here. Huh. Your address is Henry Low. All right, Seth Blazekin. Okay. I'll make sure I keep that tracked. Where did I put this deck? Oh, I'm a dum dum. No, 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 no. Ah, okay. If not, I've got enough one in mind that I want to play anyway. Looks like not. Yeah, four takes and I got. I know, right? I need to start getting rid of some of this. Well, rotation, half of it's going to go anyway. <laughs> half of it, most of it's going to just out the window. Out of the window. Completely. But obviously, it's post rotation. I've made a few post rotations, but they're just getting lost in my my deck pool, which is just 10 miles wide right now. And this is one of my new decks. Probably one of my new ones. Is it? It's not that one. It's not that one. Oh, I'm pretty sure I gave it some stupid name. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Nope. That's fine. I've got enough one in mind anyway. <laughs> yeah. Scroll. Come uh, on. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hold up, why? What? Something's not right. My decks ain't loading. Alright, two seconds. I'm gonna make sure I have this because. Yeah, it's annoying when I don't have search. Quite Keldio. Okay, that was that. Uh, now it's Giratina Malamar, right? Well, I've lost my Giratina Malamar deck, but I've still got the Keldeo, so let's do the Keldeo. <laughs> I've actually lost my deck, for Christ's sakes, man. That's bad. Go to Q. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Q. There we go. There we go. All right, sorted. <laughs> what is the deck name? Let us help. I wish I knew the deck name. That's the thing. I probably don't. I probably don't know the deck name because I'm a dum dum. And uh, Ryan, I'm sorry. I apologize in advance <laughs> for playing this very deck against you. But it is uh, quite raw. Is the word I'd use. So it's not. It's not fully cooked up. It's not. It's not on the plate yet. It's not dished and ready to go. So there's that. Right. But I don't remember if I play the the what I want to play in this deck. So I have to find that. Oh, that's interesting. The Greninja, huh? This attack isn't affected by weakness resistance. Ah! That's cool, that's cool, man. That's some good use. That's the great thing about Mew Mew, right? 
is you can use like these big really hard to get out stage two GX Pokemon and just use them with Mew Mew. It's crazy. Mew Mew is just dope. Oh, Brailium with Marie. Really? Marie, Brailium is a powerful, but you need a lot of consistency. That's the big problem. I mean, you get Netball, right? Which is something. Like, it's 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 something. Uh, I'm playing. I'm, I'm thinning my hand down. I don't care. I want to just get everything as much as I can. But the deck I'm playing has a good matchup, I'd say. So. Oh, whoopsie. I forgot about that. Hang on. Let's get that out of the way. Is this a post rotation deck? It should be. No, Nest Ball as well. It's the wrong deck. Hang on. Hang on. Right. This is just a mess. I want to find... Here it is. It has a card missing. Probably... A Cynthia. No. A Lily. Really? Okay. No, we good. Let me add you back. <laughs> yeah, no. That wasn't a presentation list. I thought it was, but it wasn't. Right. Now I have an actual one. Let me just double check. This is actually post rotation. Yep, this is post rotation. Okay, we good. We good. We good to go. All right, let's let's go again. That's my failure there, buddy. Sorry about that. What's it called again? <laughs> All right, I know, I know. Give it a chump. I love how I just play it as well because I'm so used to it. So I'll just attach the choice band. Francisco, hello, hello. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's get this moving. <laughs> I guess that pays off then, Ryan. <laughs> oh, Lord. Man, I'm slacking. I'm slacking. I'm like slacking. Okay, this hand's all right. Man, there's so much you can do with Mew Mew. So what's your, like... Oh, this is just Reshiwad, right? With Mew Mew, how do you do the energies? Is it just... Are you playing with Porygon Z or something? Or... Because there's a lot of energy required to use Mew Mew stuff, right? That coin. Which coin? Oh, what? Ryan's one. I didn't see it. <laughs> Let's do his treasure. Oh, don't you... I was going to say, don't, um, Alteria. Okay, so I'm assuming this is still Mew Mew. Um, I thought he was going to play Marshadow, but I was like, oh, hey, that rotates. Cool. Cool. But I want to see how this Mew Mew deck works, man. It looks fun. Just four rainbows. Right, okay. I think our hand's looking all right. There's uh, a lot of stuff we can do, actually. A lot of stuff. Let's get rid of one of you. Let's just get the big boy out. No, let's not. No, let's get the in cave going. You're more important here. Acrobike. Repool. <laughs> Communication. Yeah. And then we can get rid of the, the Malamar. Get a Garchomp out, I'd say. Get this down. Get this down, yeah. Get this down, yeah. And sp dank. Sweet. And that's a pretty decent hand, actually. I, I'm, do I play? No, I'm not going to play Cynthia. I'm just, I'm just going to hold it. That's a good hand. That's a good hand. I like that. And now we have to wait for him to kind of work off whatever he's got going on. What's in the discard part? That's what we need to keep track of here. So there's Bright Tone. 
prevent all effects of GX and EX attacks. Sonic Edge, 110. And asleep and heal all your damage Pokemon. Okay, so nothing too out there. There's the Jirachi. Oh yeah, because we can hit for weakness of Malamar, can't we? Or oh, and Giratina, so that's quite an important card, I'm not gonna lie. So I guess that could be our target, but I don't know I don't remember if I played Custom Catcher in this in this list. I think I do. I don't remember. Now, that would be a cool card to play in here. It's, I wouldn't say I wouldn't recommend it, but it could be Dragon Claw. Kind of like a choice band, right? In some way. I saw that, Marshadow. I see what you're doing. Okie dokie. Uh, now, I kind of regret dropping the spell tag on the active. But you know what? It is what it is. We might have to lose this Malamar. Let's do that and do that. Cynthia. Okay, that's good. But there's no discard option here yet. So we need to find some sort of way to discard. And we don't. The hardest matchup is it? <laughs> I'm being greedy, man. I'm dropping double the Dene. I'm not even messing about. Okay. Uh, good. GGN ruins it, huh? Discard two of your opponent's Pokemon. I, I guess so, because you could discard the, the Mew Mew or stuff like that and just get Insta-KO in some way. Um... Speaking of, I might have to GG end here, you know. It doesn't seem smart whacking into it for 160 and they're just going to return it with Outrage, right? That seems bad. So just dropping the Reshirad here is probably the way to go. So I think we're going to go for the GG end here and just get rid of this while we can. That's what I'm thinking. Just kind of like the best of the worst. However... However, 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 they have the access to Outrage Fume Mew Mew. But, at the same time, um, this is damage counts on it, so we can one-shot it. Oh, wow, you're coming in with a counter hard, aren't you? Damn, okay. He's coming hard with the counter. That's fair. She's going to GX me, I assume. Is that going to get the KO, though? No, it's not, right? Bright time. Man. Tricky stuff. Tricky stuff. Alright. Um, just going to get some stuff in a discard pile, I guess. For the time being. Don't really need... Unless they play Pika on, but I, I doubt. Let's get rid of you. And let's go for a Cynthia. If we just find a switch, we're in good. We're, we're, we're good. And we don't. Um... But it's not the end of the world just yet. Let's just keep hoping. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's the end of the world. All right. Let's at least remove their chance of getting fire energies to some sort of extent. <laughs> and honestly, charging on Malamar doesn't seem good here. Oh, my God. Waffy. Hello, man. How are you? Jesus Christ. You just came out of the blue. We could manually retreat and get a Jirachi play out of it. Right? But then we get rid of the... Hang on. Do I have energy attachment for turn? I do. Okay. We still have a chance here, believe it or not. But it's aggressive. It's hella aggressive, man. Alright, let's, let's, let's hope. Now we just need to Jirachi for a switch. And if we get that, then we get KO with... Uh... I'm not even going to say that name. I'm not even going to say that. Oh, come on, man. Getting my hopes up in that. Jesus. All right, let's get you. Attack with Malamar? I could have, but it's not going to be hitting much damage because of the Jirachi. We, we won't get the weakness at all. So, And the Malamars are too valuable just to attack with unless you're guaranteeing at least some sort of great value out of it. Plus, this uh, Mew Mew has a damage counter on it, so we are going to KO it with the Giratina. So, 
let's just hold this hand here and hope he doesn't have some sort of uh, custom catcher play which he very well very well may have that's what I'm going to say so there's that I'm just trying to think of what he can do he can Retreat's kind of pointless. Another welder. Okay. Okay, just for draw, I assume. Don't you dare have this custom catcher, man. Don't you dare. What could you be going for? Oh, we can use Venom Shot. And that does 170 to one of your opponent's bench. Hmm. No, don't you do that. Don't you dare. Actually, that's fine. I think he might be using this card's GX attack. Right? He can do it. Euphoria is pointless. That's pointless. That seems like the smartest play. However, I think we're okay against that. Favorite football team from Spain. Real Madrid is my childhood team from Spain. I remember speaking to my uncle and being like, he was telling us about the other leagues and the other countries and stuff. And he was like, what's your Spanish team? And I'm like, Real Madrid. Because I loved Real Madrid at the time. So that would be my Spanish football team, I guess. Do I travel outside of the UK? Not regularly. In fact, barely ever. <laughs> but I plan to soon, actually. Soon I plan to, to, to go on holiday. So I'm looking forward to it. I've actually never been on a plane. Fun fact. Ah, sorry, hit the table. Now, what is he going to go for? Bright turn. Okay. This is annoying. Because my bench is full, so I can't... Tina... I can't use Giratina. Because of my aggressiveness earlier on. Cynthia... There's the Giratina, which I'm just going to get rid of. Do I need that in hand? Not really. I can attack with Malamar this turn, but I really don't want to. I really want to hold these Malamars. They're just too good to pass up. I don't mind just passing here, really. Again. <laughs> Instantly, new favorite YouTuber. Good stuff. I answered the right questions there. Um, or gave the right answers, should I say. Woffy, um, thought I'd tune in to see what's up with one of my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> Thanks, man. How you been, though? It's been a long time. It's been a long time, buddy, man. It's been a long time. Hope you're doing well, though, man. Um, it could be time to slap, but they went for another another one of these. Bright tone, so even if I slapped it, it wouldn't matter. Mm, they went for the double custom catcher. Ah! God damn it. Okay. Yikes. At least we have a follow-up, though. And I think we have a follow-up with a KO, actually. So we have something to work with. I could just Giratina, um, but I want to be greedy. Considering where we're at right now. Right. I think we're okay. Oh, we just top-decked it. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. There we go. We do that. We get rid of the... I think I've got enough energy in the discard pile, right? We're going to get rid of the communication. Get ourselves that fighting energy. And uh, just uh, double up here. But let's... Stella Wish. Oh, we could use you. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's attach you for... All... No, I've, I've attached for turn. Sean, you dummy. Right, let's go for that. Cool. Whoa, 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 don't get too far ahead of yourself, buddy. Let's, let's get in there. I think we're hitting, yeah, we're hitting, definitely KOing this thing, right? We're hitting, what, what numbers are we hitting here? 160 plus 80, right? That's, 
<gasps> I don't think there's enough damage. Oh. Am I wrong? Am I, am I hitting enough damage on this thing? I forgot I had 270 HP. Uh, 160 plus 80, that's 250, isn't it? No, it's 240. I'm not even hitting enough damage on it. <gasps> Yikes. Ah, oh, we're just going to hit into it. <laughs> 240. Um, play Eels next. I haven't actually built the deck, so if you can help me build the deck, I wouldn't mind. Oh, hi, Dylan. Uh, yeah, no, didn't get the KO. Man, me dumb dumb. Considering you're playing Rainbow Energy, you could play um, Alter the Moon in here to give that new 2 free retreat. If anything. I can't GX it. I used it earlier. I used it earlier, man. Man, Yumi is just stupidly versatile. It's crazy. Yep, yeah, Baby Tina was the move indeed. I didn't realize I had literally screwed up the numbers there. I thought I had the KO. Yeah, he's going to outrage pretty much. Come on, buddy. Drop the outrage. He didn't outrage. What does that even do? I might just do it. Dude, you could just outrage. You would have got it. Right? I think I would have got it. Right. Uh, <laughs> I don't see any salvation here. I mean... We could just Malamar, right? <laughs> We're just gonna Malamar. <laughs> We're just gonna Malamar. <laughs> this is what we've, this is what it's come to. This is what it's come to. Yep, yeah, you definitely should have just outraged. Uh, Chris Rico, thank you for the donation, buddy. I appreciate it. Don't worry, you got this. You're the goat. <laughs> I wish, buddy. I wish, but I will. I will take your enthusiasm, enthusiasm on board. Again, thank you for the two dollars, man. I appreciate it a lot. Um, Malamar, do dirt. It's sixty. <laughs> oh lord, you can't custom catch her, so there's no gust. To be honest, so we can actually still do something here if we play our cards right. And he definitely should have outraged. <laughs> But that's the thing with Mew Mew. You have like so many stuff going on. That I don't blame you. Aha, uh -huh, this one as well. Can you imagine if it copied the abilities as well? It's just attacks, isn't it? Can you imagine if it done the ability? That would be stupid. That would just be dumb. Right, if KO is, KO is Malamar, we don't really have a attack with Giratina, though. Oh! <laughs> Where do you get Venom shot from? Oh, the Naganado! Yikes! Is this to teach us how to build decks? No, I wouldn't recommend it for me, but... <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, this is just... I'm kind of just messing about playing some games. GG, man. GG. Well played. Well played. Could I DM the image to you? Uh, you can on Twitter. If you have Twitter, or you can, you should be able to post the image on Discord um, if you want. I should be able to get the Discord link. Uh, yeah, here's the link. If you want to come in the Discord. First game of the day, the misplays are afoot. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Right, who's next? It is Glace. Glace, are you about? I'm going to give you some time to respond, buddy. Give you some time to respond. And uh, I need to figure out what decks I have that are post-rotation. And they are lost in all of this. I did make a... Oh, let me make one now. I'm going to make one right now as we speak. I'm not even going to joke. Can I go first just because the bug without eggs? Yeah, definitely. Um, are you okay waiting for me to just do build this deck quickly? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build it real quick. 
but it is going to be Aerodactyl. Not that one. <laughs> this one. I still am um, sold on this one being better. So, it's going to be that with Malamar. In K. One, two, three. And then we go Jirachi. So, you're going to see me speed build for you. And then we're going to go for Labs. Which is just going to make this so fun. Three of you. And then we go for Mysterious Fossil. And that's going to be three of you. We don't need four. One excavation map. Just, just. I guess we can go duo there. Um, right, 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 right. Let me need Mysterious Treasure. One, two, three, four. Mm, we don't need four. And then we'll Pokecom. Get that, so we can get some Pokemon search in there. We could Emolga. Should we do the Emolga engine? Screw it. Let's do the Emolga engine. Just for draw. So you do three of them, and then it allows you to use Pokecom effectively. So there's that. And then we go for a ton of switches and stuff. I'll post my box list in the Discord if anyone would like to have it. Yeah, that was fun, man. That was cool. Definitely post it. Custom catcher. Give me a lot of four ofs in here. Two, three. We'll get three switches in. Why not? And then we get three escape boards. Speed build! Um, and then we go for... Let's just get some draw supporters in here quickly while I can. Um, now, Shrine will be good. Again, just to play after the lab. So we'll play three of those. And considering there's a ton of stadium stuff, why don't we mess about and throw in a stadium lab as well, just for fun. And what else? Tool cards, tool cards. Post rotation tool cards. By the way, it's kind of how I build post rotation. I just do that. <laughs> um... Could do... Honestly, I think the best thing here is choice helmet. Could throw a choice helmet in there. Yeah. And then we're going to throw psychics. And triple acceleration energies. All right, six, seven. And triple. There we go. Looking good. Probably drop the... Just quickly, the shrine and throw... Oh, no, we can't do energy lotto, can we? Um, well, actually, no, I'm going to drop the shrine and go for... What's that? Energy search? It's an item card. What is it? This one. Energy spinner. Let's do that. All right. Uh, arrow post rotation. There we go. All right, done. Built. Speed build. Nice. Um, you're missing permissions. Permissions? What permissions are you on about, buddy? Um, does my deck need to be post-rotation? If it's not, let me know, and I'll just pay you in a normal game. You're starting college? Bloody hell, man. How old are you now? Was it like, was it like 14 when I was speaking to you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Aerodactyl. Post-rotation. Right, Glace. I'm going to send you a request now, buddy, to play. Um, yeah, what do you mean by missing permissions, Maniac? Skadonk. There we go. Make a move. And I remember, let you go first. I remember. If I win. Alright, sweet, there we go. Good stuff. Okie dokie. Your boy is legal. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Jesus. I forget it's 2019. And wasn't it? I think I spoke to you around 2015, right? Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Okie dokie. You're playing that in the deck? I didn't even read what it does. This is a great thing. You can just retreat, right? This can be a tough matchup for Aerodactyl, actually, now that I think about it. It's probably at least three energy attached to it. Shuffle all energy from your first Pokemon into their deck. Wow! That is so bad for Aerodactyl. All right. Uh, this is a somewhat decent start, actually. 
I'll be honest with you. Communication? Synth this is kind of a pointless hand, actually. We're going to Cynthia here. Let's do that. Place an Emolga down. Go for another one of... Another ink A. Sweet. And then we... Okay, so we get stuck and need retreat. We'll do that. And we'll double our adactyl. It's been a fat minute. A thick minute it's been. It's been a thick minute, boy. So there's that leaf, 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 leaf. Draw two cards, active, draw four. Okay. There's still cards I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, are you trying to post in the Discord? That's what I was thinking. So now you can pretty much just bypass things, right? That's just stupid. So this 40 damage, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So now you're basically free 10 HP. Just tank. Tank. Absolute tanky. Now we can find a shrine. That'd be pretty good. Just to help manage the tankiness of the deck. Um, Pokecom. I don't want to get rid of the Jirachi. So this is why I've got Emolga. So I can just Emolga into the hand. Pokecom it away. So it's free Pokemon search whenever I get the Pokecom. But at the price of event space. Let's get the Malamar down. And uh, start charging up. This bad boy. Stella Wish, get ourselves. Ah, Stadium Nav, come on! <laughs> Double the heads. Double the heads. What energy is this? No weakness, okay. Give me the heads. <clears throat> yes, okay. Now we can get Shrine out. Sweet. Nice. Drop you down. Just go in with a smackaroonie on this bad boy here. Not eating as much as we could, but. Shrine at least uh, takes away this thing. <laughs> so. There's that. There's that. Ah, oh, the double mixed herbs as well. Man, this is going to be a pain. Oh. Lord, have mercy. Oh, you're healing up like everything. That's just crazy, man. This is like just... This is way better than uh, Venusaur. Way better. And the thing is with Venusaur is that was bloody tough to work and, and take down as well. Like, Jesus Christ. But man. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. 130. <laughs> Even the attack heals? You're just joking. This is stupid. And the thing is, this, is, this doesn't have any problems. Okay. Okay. Once during your turn, you may attach an energy card from your discard pile to one of your, to your active Pokemon. What? Okay, this is this is just this is just stupid now. What? You're joking, man. Screw this. I'm gonna supersonic. <laughs> That's how desperate I am. Alright, let's Cynthia. Let's get another Malamar out while we're here. Should have done that before actually, but hey, here we are. I feel like there's not much discard in this deck, so getting energy in the discard is kind of tough. Let's uh, switch up here for the Jirachi. Enough Pokecom. Mm. Not necessary, but hey. I'm going to come up with this one. So we can preserve the Choice Helmet, go for the Confusion. At least cause them problems in some way for attacking, right? There there's that at least. Reduce the chances of them really being successful. But man, they're just going to take away all my damage. When this is our... Oh my god, this is bad. As soon as this bad boy's up, I'm going to be hitting 100 damage. Like, Jesus Christ. And this just brings it to another level. Glace, this is a dope deck list already. Just by looking at it. Once that bug's resolved, it would be definitely really good. And the thing is, some would say there's a problem of using this as your main, as, as your first few attacks. But if you have that much tankiness, you can, which is the crazy thing. Okay, that worked in our favor. That didn't. Um, 
Let's get an energy in a discard pile. Get you out, why not? Uh, let's just get you going here for now. I am drinking from a two-liter bottle. That's how rebel I am. <laughs> that is how much of a rebel I am. But only when my son's not around. Can't be a bad role model. <laughs> Man, this deck is just stupid. But I think the confusion actually helps us better than fossil fangs, believe it or not. Because they have to flip heads to attack. And this deck does not look like it likes leaving the active. It likes staying in the active by the looks of it. Again, similar to Steelosaur. So, if this is the same strategy, then... Confusion Stall could work. <laughs> As our main route. Tails again. There we go. Give me energy. Damn. Now this is a risky play. But I'm going to retreat and hopefully hit a switch off this Jirachi. Wow. Okay. That would have been sick. That's fine. Win some, lose some. Um, let's do that. And just pass. Again, they're going to heal a ton of damage. And if they get heads, we can just follow up with an attack, which is good. Ah, stop it. Oh, Lord, they're just healing everything. Okay, choice time is not that crazy for us. Now, if they GX and they flip tails, does it... I, I, I should know this, but I think the counter still goes, right? I think it still counts as using your GX attack. Am I correct? I could be wrong. Double tails! Sweet. Okay, now we get an attack. Good. Alrighty. A Stella Wish. Get ourselves probably a draw support. That sounds better right now. And we're just going to hit into it. They can't heal forever, am I right? Kind of can, but I'm just going just gonna to roll with it. Alright, Fossil Fangs. 440 damage. But, bear in mind, that's just going to be completely healed up. But this confusion is doing dirt right now. If only we were playing Parasect. <laughs> be another level. Be another level. But I have been trying to figure out Parasect decks as well. Don't you dare. Wow. Oh my god, you've done that. Like, for real. So how do you plan to get it all back in? I'm assuming discarding all the stuff, or... They can't just retreat and attach to active, yeah. And go for their super growth attack, right? They can't get free energy on that Pokemon this turn, so... There's that. But if we just Confusion again... Really? You're going to another... Wow. So now my damage is doing 100 instead of 180. 180. Confusion time. <laughs> Man, this is just... This is just... This, this, this game is not meant to be. I'm telling you right now. It is just not meant to be. Now, Custom Catcher can help us get rid of some good stuff. Like, we can get rid of these bad boys. Which would really help us a ton, actually. So, I really don't mind just going for a Cynthia and hoping to pull these Custom Catchers. And also... Um, Thickening my deck. Making making that boy thick. Because, um... Supersonic. Because this might be literally just... Whoever runs out of their deck first is going to lose. It looks like that, so... There's no prizes being taken. I'm constantly confusing them, so they can't guarantee an attack every turn. So they have a 50-50% chance to attack me. And I'm a single prize deck, so they have to get six attacks off. So basically... I'm not even going to pretend to know the odds. So, yeah, it's a bit it's a bit of a crazy one. Now, I could be greedy and go for the custom catcher here and pull out one of these bad boys. But I think the long-term goal here is just to make them run out of deck space. Um, now that I think about it, right? So I'm just going to Fossil Fang here and wait. Why is it 140? Do these not stack? Ha, they don't stack. Okay. All right, that's good news. But again, this is just a stall match. <laughs> we just stalled him for days, boy. Like, damn. 
And there's a tail. <laughs> We're getting there. I'm sorry, Glace. This, this, this has to be the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This just has to be the way. I have to do it like this. And man, they're getting so many tails in their attacks as well, which is crazy. Oh, one more turn and we get a KO. But I'm really happy with actually how... Oh, internet connection? Don't you dare. I haven't seen that symbol in like a year, dude. <gasps> no! Is my stream still up? I think it's still up. I'm still up. I'm still here. Am I still here? I think I'm here. It says I'm alive. What? Come on! This is a joke. This is a joke. Hello, James. You've joined me uh, getting kicked from the Pokemon servers. <laughs> Fun, right? <laughs> yeah, everyone's still here. Yeah, it's... I don't know what happened there, man. You got another Tails. <laughs> servers are currently offline. They didn't say anything about... Let me close and open the game again. They didn't say anything about maintenance or anything. It's a bit weird. Hopefully it's just something on my end. That I can sort out. Hmm. It's a bit weird. Let's let it load and then we'll have to see what happens, I guess. Really? That's it? I'm still up on my end. Yeah, okay, so... What? <laughs> did the GX attack... <laughs> what? <laughs> so you're saying the GX attack did it? Pokemon servers in a dodgy problem. Tell me about it, man. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Jesus, bad timing. Bad timing. We'll try one more time. One more time. I have no idea, man. I have no idea. Oh, there we go. So it's not that then. Not the GX. That's weird. Because the stream's still up, so clearly it's not my internet. It, seems, it says it's running fine down here as well, and it's um, KBS. So, <laughs> you're just kidding. See, that's my problem. I'm too gullible. <laughs> Again? Huh? <laughs> Hello? I don't like it. It is PTC Joe, isn't it? What can your boy do, man? What can your boy do? I think I might have to cut it off then, I'm afraid. I think I might have to just end the stream, unfortunately, thanks to Pokemon. Thank you, guys. Sorry about that. Um, sorry that the... Um the game ended uh, kind of short there, Glace. That was actually going to be quite a fun outcome, but so be it. And uh, Henry as well. I know I'm supposed to play you next as well, but there's not much I can do, I'm afraid. So I think I'm just going to have to end the stream and uh, come back up tomorrow or something and, and see how it goes. But yeah, I'm going to leave it I'm leave it now. It's getting quite late as well. So thank you everyone for coming by, seriously, and for playing as well. Blue Cheesecake, you are hello and goodbye. <laughs> I'm afraid you joined at literally the worst time. Um, Waffy, man, it's good for you to come back, buddy. I generally appreciate it. And again, Chris Rico for your donation. Again, real dope stuff. Huh? It does help out a lot. <laughs> yeah, you rejoined at the end. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. But yeah, I will leave you all to it. And um, again, we'll uh, try and get this back up shortly and uh, see what we can do. But man, that's a pain. Anyway, see you later. Have a good night, yeah? Peace.